as a plane. As a this is Jason J. Lewis, the voice of Superman on Justice League Action. This is Mark Wayne, writer of Superman Birthright, and you're listening to The Krypton Report. And you're listening to Krypton Report. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird! It's a plane! It's the Krypton Report! The All Things Kryptonian podcast, including Superman and Supergirl. We discuss games, movies, cartoons, TV shows, and comics. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Welcome back to the Krypton Report. This is now Fandom Day One Part Two. We decided to split the episode um, into two, you know, about one hour episodes so you could kind of listen and digest it and not get overloaded. So here's the rest of our fandom discussion. Yeah. You know, we're, we're getting okay. there. Okay. I'll, I'll, um, I'll, must I'll, I say I'll. that the aspect ratio of this, every scene looks like a friggin' comic panel. Yes. And people are probably going, what are they talking about? What are they alluding to? We're talking about Zack Snyder's Justice League. Okay? What's that? Um, Get out of here. Go. We had it. Leave. We already had a Justice, <laughs> we already had a, we already had a Justice League movie. And it, it was perfect. Uh, and Josh Whedon guy, it was perfect. So, Brian's wife had, like, the best quote. And, Brian, do you want to go ahead and share with the class your wife's quote? The class. Uh, um, yeah, so we're watching the trailer uh, that was probably the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, uh, even more beautiful than my wife. Um, and, and, and she just says, she says, what's this? Is this a, is this a new movie coming out? I didn't, I've never seen anything. I, I've never seen this with you. And I said, well, that, it, yeah, we never seen it. That's right. Um, <laughs> you know, this is Zack Snyder's Justice League. She's like, that's a, that's, that's, that's a whole different movie. Um, exactly. Yeah, that's the point, Jed. And, th- oh, and that's man. the thing that, like, I hate that people are like, oh, I don't get it, just a few scenes. No. The whole movie was deleted. I mean, everything in, like, this trailer. The entire narrative was rewritten for the film. There is or at no- least stripped down to its barest essential. There is nothing in this trailer that I'm watching. Like, I'm watching the trailer right now. I think there's one shot, two shots, hold on, I'm counting, that appear in the other version altered. Um. <laughs> so I'm looking at this, I'm watching it myself, and I'm looking at this. So this trailer came out about, it's, it's about 11 p.m., so it was around, what, 6 p.m.? So five, 29 hours ago, this trailer was released. And it's got over five and five point five. It's five hundred or five million five hundred eighty-eight thousand views. Oh, that's a lot. Five million five hundred, and I might as well say eighty-nine thousand because it's nine hundred and sixty-seven views. I'll watch the other um, <laughs> twenty-three views, thirty-three views here. In a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll keep watching this. So three, four shots that are somehow in the other uh, version in some form altered. But other than that, um, everything in this is diff- is new. You know, so it is a complete film. So, I mean, we're going to we're going to see some of the stuff. It's going to be interesting seeing this, being able to see the stuff that Zach actually filmed. People will be actually actually be able to see finally some of the themes that we see. Yes. And between between the stuff that's not going to be there and and the close ups and the difference in the story and the dialogue like. People will see the seams that we see, what they used of Snyder's footage to construct the film, but then how they used all of all of the close ups and and um closed sets to redo some of the the story and the dialogue that, that completely changes what the movie was to what it what it is, to what it became in the theater. So we'll we'll do, we're gonna 
I want real quick, guys. Are you able to pull the trailer up right now while we're on the phone or while we're talking? Oh, I already watched it three times. Okay, we're we're gonna watch it together <laughs> and kind of talk through it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess so. So while you guys do that, <laughs> yeah, I can also watch it. Yeah, I guess so. The big points of this, okay, is um, Snyder says we mean four parts. Each part is one hour. So this is gonna be a four hour movie. Suck it, Peter Jackson. What? And then they're going to release it as a in a way he he didn't state what they're working on it for distribution as a one release. And I'm hoping it's something like one of those like Warner archive things where you can buy the physical copy um, through them. You know, you have to order it through them. It won't be able to, like you can find it in stores or whatever. You have to order it through Warner archives. Um, Oh no, they're gonna put this out in stores. I wonder. Yes, yes. There's no <laughs> doubt. There's no doubt in my mind. They're gonna put it out in stores, man. And um, we just watched Justice League. The Snyder Cut. What do you think? I, I think, think it's really cool. I think they didn't come. They cut out some little parts. Yeah, that's, a, that's the trailer for when we'll get it next year. I like, um, wonder all of them. They're all together at the end, standing there. Mm -hmm. What do you think about Superman in his black costume? I think that would look awesome. You think it looked awesome? Yeah. What about you, Sayla? Yeah? Mom, Superman has a black costume in the neck. Yeah. What what'd you think about the new look for Steppenwolf? Cool. It was really cool. Yeah? What did you think about Dark Side? I think he's really cool. Yeah? And Zod. Yeah, the Zod? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a young Dark Side. I wonder if we're going to see an older Dark Side. Yeah? Are you excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Daddy cried first time he saw that. It was beautiful. Why? Because it was beautiful. Why it's beautiful? Because <laughs> it is. So let's, uh, we're going to get this going. It's a two minute and like 40 some second 43 trailer. 43 second trailer. Of pure imagination. Of pure beauty. Um. All right. Well, since we're going to watch this, I'm going to turn the volume up a tad. So I can hear it in my headphones. Uh, can we just talk like the Leonard Cohen use of? We know that Snyder's a fan of Leonard Cohen. Um, you know, the Justice League theatrical cut uses a cover of Leonard Cohen's "Everybody Knows," and then of course "Hallelujah" was used in Watchmen. Watchmen, <laughs> the Archie scene, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> So, but like Jania said, it was interesting is because it's like, you know, it's like the answer to a prayer to a miracle is hallelujah. And that's what kind of getting the Snyder cut is, you know, it's, right? it's, it's been our prayer. So we're, we're all in one giant voice, like hallelujah. This is amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, you know, and I'm like, yes, that, that is, is. And like, um, you know, cause I showed it to Solomon, you know, like, Hey, like we watched the trailer and. It was, like, cool, like, because, you know, he saw, like, to him, it seemed like just, you know, the new Justice League movie. Um, <laughs> you know? Because, yeah. it, it, like I said, everything in here is new, but, like, four shots. Um, and, yeah. All right. Are we, are we ready to watch this? Uh, yes. Uh, right. Uh, I see the HBO Max logo. I am ready. Max Original. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm looking at it. It says Max Original. Yeah. Okay, ready? And go. So, first shot is... <laughs> dark side. <laughs> a young dark side. And if you look at his chest, the symbol is, like, scarred you into him. Light? You see that? You see that green lantern light? We got the, the Justice Max League. Lighting. You see that? There's Aquaman's trident. There's Joker's card at the Crushed Hall of Justice. Um, 
Here's Gal, where they shot the arrow, it looks like. Yeah. We saw this There's before. Supergirl. That's Superman. They've confirmed that. That's Supergirl. That's um, Supergirl. Legs, legs are too skinny. Boots are too not high. Supergirl. That's There's, Supergirl. you know, Aquaman. Man, that scene, of the, that scene of the water and him out there, I mean, that just looks like a freaking comic panel. Black suit. Black suit. Black suit. Victor's mom. Look, Wonder Woman talking to the kids after saving them. No, we had yes. seen this shot before. After saving them. Of the perspective. Him. I love that perspective of seeing the glass, like, go out from you. I had that. There's Victor. Like, a lot of these are shots we had seen Snyder release, like, still photos. I love seeing Lois and Ma. Victor punches it. This is cool. Arthur's, his mom's trident, his armor, and then him walking away from Amber Heard. Yeah. That, that shot of Euxus right there is stepping away from the eye. To Sod, Cyborg being janky, trying to move. This, I think, I think that scene where Superman is up in the air, he sees Lois all the way down on the street. Dude, right here. They already showed us Silas dying in this teaser. All yeah. Right, here's the other well, shot. That's an image he released. Steppenwolf that's dropping sweet. down. The new Steppenwolf, the correct Steppenwolf. Um, yep. Batman being the BA, blocking the Speed Force. The blocking the lasers with his gauntlet. Yeah, that's dope. The speed force, I can't wait to see that. King Atlan or King Atlanta. Bring in during the during the history lesson. Them all standing there with Superman in the black costume as the flying fox shows up. The Snyder Cut. Justice League. Hashtag. And then like right here, like Flash talking sounds very confident. Um, and then, you know, Bruce Wayne talking, um, not a United, but okay. So looking at that scene, that scene right there looks like it's taken from different shots. Um, and I say that because if you look at where Bruce is, he's got the waterfall behind him, which is the cave. But then when the way that, that. Arthur looks like he's in a hangar. Wonder Woman, because you have the original shot is the Flash talking with his mask off. Arthur in his suit. Wonder Woman in her armor. And then it cuts to Bruce. It shows Cyborg looking at um, the sweats. And then we see Bruce. So it looks like it's two different scenes that have been edited for this trailer. Just kind of unique if you look at it. Three of them are in the hangar. Yeah, yeah. Some of that, some of that is different. Yeah, some of that is different scenes. And that's cool um, because it, it makes like, like a, yeah, it makes like a unique like scene uh, for yourself. Like so, but man, like there's gonna be multiple times when they're actually just standing around and talking, all of them interacting, and and the world, you know. Like developing the story and and developing personal connections, as opposed to the the BS we got <laughs> before. I mean, there is so much stuff like to just go through here and look at. Um, the movie's literally going to be twice as long, two hours worth of footage, and all of it the original dialogue. I mean, just not not this movie really shot really. and edited and cut down to make it a movie half as long. And what's crazy is like we talked about before, the, him coming out in the black costume, like they digitally recolored that, you know? Um, yeah, because on set he was in the red, the red and the blue. We've seen plenty of images of of Snyder shots on set of him in the red and the blue, but. Um, it's really cool the way Zach talked about how they, how they hinted, how they left hints in the suit to be able to digitally change that because he wanted it to be the black suit. So it's it's I'm, I'm just curious like the black suit makes sense in the fact that like it would make sense to go to the fortress and that be like the suit that's still there. You know, like he took one suit out, which was the blue one. And that's what he was wearing. And then, oh, he needs a new suit. So he goes and a black one's that's there. 
Uh, right. I like the image of Superman, like, flying and punching uh, Steppenwolf. Yeah. I mean, what Superman did in the theatrical um, cut was was fairly cool um, in the couple of scenes he did stuff in. Um, but, uh, I mean, granted, the the – Speed, the speed time in in the theatrical yeah. still probably the best shot in the whole film. Like just seeing Superman, you know, stun the Flash at how fast he can move and react. Yes, I love the scene of Clark in the cornfield with Lois and his mom. Oh, I can't wait to see the whole interaction, the real interaction, like changing it to it's itchy and like a matte painting behind them as opposed to a freaking cornfield in the sky. So I like that this is young Uxus, like we see at the beginning. And uh, cool. They didn't show the, they didn't show full fledged dark side. Right. I mean, there's so much open with Uxus. There's so much that they didn't show. And yeah, I'm just, I'm very intrigued. Like, this is going to be awesome. But yeah, I just this scene of Aquaman come walking out of that bar and the, how bad the rain is and him walking like like we have like the the one shot from the original Snyder trailer. But this, I mean, looks even more intense of him just walking and just standing there like I'm going to dive into this thing. Yeah, the ocean looks amazing crashing into that freaking that that big stone dock coming out like that. So, and you know that that is our Justice League. Um I could watch it over and over. I might I might put together an official like Snyder uh trailer of all the Snyder footage stuff I have and just watch it and I, I'm very much going to watch it once a day. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to keep driving this number up for a while. <laughs> James, James got it on the computer, his, his tablet, his phone. He's just like, play, play. Um, so the next the next thing in fandom was Dwayne Johnson comes out and does a little Black Adam kind of talking about the film. And that was cool because the digital world they put him in looked like it was from Conduct. Um, it was awesome to see him, like, so excited to talk about the character and his. Yeah, love. he really, he really likes the. It, he really loves that character. I mean, that's that's kind of how his his basically his first character, the Scorpion King. That's it's kind of like how he how it drew him out, you know, being like this anti-hero. Yeah, and we should have gotten a film that really like explored the Scorpion King's fall, but whatever. Um, yes, yes, because <laughs> because we got him as a villain, and then we got him as a hero, and then we don't we don't have the fall in the middle. You know, we talked. He talked about. Um, you know that the the powers are going to change when Black Adam arrives, the hierarchy of power in the DC universe, and you believe it when The Rock says it. <laughs> you know you're like, "Yep, <laughs> I yeah. understand, Dwayne." I am. Um, we, we have we have to smell we have to smell what Black Adam's cooking. <laughs> I really hope that they <laughs> they really like use more of like the term Teth Adam than Black Adam or something like. That the black part comes in like a nickname because of his, you know, being the I wonder suit. If, right. Well, I wonder if that's not going to come out and or the black part, like if that's not going to come into play, like when he returns, like when you see the time before when when he does when he becomes black Tef Adam and and he does the things he does and kill you know kills the people in power and frees slaves and all this other stuff. Um, like at that time, I bet they'll probably call him. He'll probably go by the name of Teth Adam or something. Yeah. And then when he comes out, when then when he 
frees when he frees himself from prison for five thousand years. Um, you know the, so, the the to the world he'll be more like yeah he'll be Black Adam the translated version or whatever. What I'm interested in is the fact that originally I thought this film was going to focus more on like Kondok and him in the past. You know, we talk, they talked about bringing in Hawkman, which makes sense if they go, like, the Egyptian route for Thanagarians. But now we know they're going to have Adam Smasher, and it looks like Dr. Frickin' Fate as the JSA. Dr. Frickin' Fate. Well, the helmet of Naboo comes from, um, from ancient history. So, But they call themselves the JSA. That... that um, you know, well, I, he, I, he's gonna wake up in five thousand years, or or get freed after five thousand years, and and the JSA is gonna be there, but the helmet of Naboo, and pro, and possibly the history of Hawkman, or or you know his one of his early selves, or before he becomes reincarnated, um, will come from those ancient times. So, um, what do you call like it? I, I, I have a feeling that's gonna that's gonna reach, um, you know that that part of his story is gonna connect. And I, I'm excited for like a it, the, um, what do you call it? Like a, a past, you know, part. So. Bring it on. That's what I say. Uh, and the, the origin story? The, you know, the Adam Smasher part is kind of interesting to me to do that. Um, but that's that's cool. I mean, that's a different character. Oh, well, yeah. They said they'd have, they'd have what, Cyclone and, and Adam Smasher as, like, the rookies in the JSA? Uh-huh. <clears throat> and they'd have... No, they said. I know there there was Hawkman and Doctor Fate. Wasn't there somebody else, or was that it? I think that was it. Um. So, yeah, that movie is exciting. I mean, like they haven't got to shoot anything. They're hoping to shoot soon, but at least having that kind of presence there gives me faith that they're actually moving forward with it. You know, um, that we're actually getting. What do you call it? Um, something sub- substantial, like it's not just kind of like, oh yeah, um, this is what we. Yeah, I love do. that he describes it as a passion project. You know that he's been that he's been wanting to do this. That they've been working on this for years. I mean, did they announce him as Black Adam like five years ago? Wasn't yeah? It, didn't they announce him as Black Adam like at the same time that they gave us that huge slate breakdown of every? DC movie that we were supposed to get. Yeah, dude, I think he came out at Comic Con or something. Dude, it might it might even be more than five. No, because um, it was it was 2015, awesome. right? Or was it four? Hold on. It might have. You might be right. It might have been six because it might. I think it was 2014, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Because it was right after the Flash. It was premiered. like right after Man of Steel. It was the fall of 14. Because it was the day after the Flash premiered on the CW. Because they yes. came out and they announced their huge slate, um, and it was kind of a uh, a lot of people said, "Wow, it's kind of a big like screw you to the Flash TV series." Because the day after that show comes out, um, you know, they announce, um. You know who the Flash is for the movies and all this, and it was kind of like an undercut. So, man, he's been working on this, like we said, for a while. Um, well, you know, I mean, if you get people who are passionate about the project and take it seriously for a long time, then I mean, you usually get something pretty good. So, and you know, I. I just feel like The Rock is doesn't make crap, you know. So I'm excited about what we're gonna get. Definitely. All right. So 
Black Adam. So then this is one of those this is one of those panels that kind of popped out that I didn't have on my radar because it wasn't on my schedule because I thought it got shifted. But there was like a Titans panel that sh- that popped in. And yeah, I'm, I was excited to see that. It really so I missed part of the one they talked about the formation of the all black comic book company. And I'm drawing a blank on what it was called. Um, milestone. Milestone. Thank you. And I knew it had stone in it, but I'm getting tired. Um, and I watched the diversity panel as I was getting the kids ready to leave. Um, so that's where I got introduced to, and I, I'm going to, I can't not pronounce her name correctly right now. The new Batwoman. Um, yeah, with TCI, I think. I already like her better than Kate Kane. Or then Ruby Rose is Kate Kane. I don't even care what she does acting wise. She just seems like a fun person. Like there's a lot of cool energy coming off her. Um, so those panels I I missed out on because I was moving around doing some things around the house uh, before the Justice League ones because they were a little bit earlier. And I wanted to bring that up, and I wanted to mention um, the Titans panel. So we're on the Titans panel. I just wanted my brain it's kind of shifting on me. Uh, the biggest, so the Titans panel was like a, um, people voted on their favorite scenes from Titans. And that was cool, but I didn't get a chance to write them all down because this is when I was going to the store. Um, but what I did get is that season right. three of Titans is going to be, they're going to, they're going to Gotham. They're going to take on the Scarecrow. Which is awesome. Solomon's going to love that. They're going to go and see Commissioner Barbara Gordon. And Jason is going to become the Red Hood. That's really sweet. Um, So so it's definitely a different universe where he doesn't get murdered by the Joker and resurrected and come back years later. And I'm like, sweet. Yeah. I'm okay with that, like, because they said an African proverb talking about that if the child does not feel the warmth of the the warm and love of the villagers, the village, I'm paraphrasing here. The one to burn it down. Just to feel the warmth. Yeah. And and that's where Jason is after being rejected and everything. So I'm like, awesome. Awesome. Like yeah, Red Hood's gonna be a villain of the season. That's real. Yeah, it's gonna be sweet. So that's two Red Hood things that come in that Solomon will be happy for next year. I don't know how I feel as a parent that my child is loves Red Hood as much, but <laughs> I do the best I can. <laughs> uh, they've just done a lot of cool things with them over over the last handful of years. Yes, they have. Like like Red Hood, Jason is by far more popular as Red Hood than he is as Robin or anything else. As he should be. And that's that's really where his his identity and like Brian has done a lot of reading right now. Him and I were talking about the original introduction, post crisis, and pre crisis of Jason, and how just it was bland. It was nothing other than just copy and paste of Dick Grayson. Right. And Red Hood is when he finally yeah, got his uh... own identity. When, when I mean, when Jason is introduced originally in the comics, he has red hair. Uh, his yeah. Parents were from, his parents were from the circus. Um, you know, they're they're friends with with Dick Grayson, and essentially, Dick Dick gets him killed. <laughs> um, you know, and and Dick's more responsible for uh, Jason to become Robin uh, pre crisis. Um, and it was it was just it was just cookie cutter, and the way he was written, it didn't even look like he was really annoyed that his parents were killed. It was just like, oh man, wow, man, man, that man, this is horrible. Uh, but I'll just dye my hair black and I'll be Robin now. <laughs> you know, it um, it, it it was weird, and I didn't get to watch the Titan panel um because uh, something happened with my feed, and I kind of jumped a few hours ahead. Um, yeah, we'll get there in a minute. That was the craziest phone call, video chat that you gave me. Uh, 
if I'm still awake, if I'm still awake, um, early day tomorrow. Um, well, we're, I mean, we're, we'll, we'll just wrap up the Titans part. We'll move on because basically the Shazam panel was quick. We learned that Shazam's called Fury of the Gods. Yeah, Shazam, Fury of the Gods. That's what Shazam 2 is going to be called. So the next. Bit, I like how they did the reveal, though, of, of uh, Faith drawing the picture and then holding it up. And they're like, oh, is that the name? Yeah, that was pretty cool. It, it was. And, they awesome. had Sh- they, and Sinbad was funny. I wonder that if he's going to be Talkie Tawny. That would be awesome. Oh, great. That would, that would make a lot of sense. <laughs> it um, really would. <laughs> So, the uh, I missed the Aquaman panel because um, I dropped signal. It was I just it was um, it was all it was was James Patrick. Wan and Patrick Wilson talking, and that's what I thought. Um, that's all it was, and it was really just like their history together, and then talking about um, how James Wan thought he would be it, and then he was it from the beginning, and then just some of the literally how it was filming like the he was talking about the training and how he you know nothing prepares you really for getting into a harness and you know hanging out there like you're not hanging out there like you're not trying to hold yourself up he's like there's just nothing like it and that was like the majority of it (laughs) so we we kind of hit on this quickly and we'll kind of move through because i do want to get brian before he has to go um Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. I just watched the video game. For Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. And what do you think, Simon? I think it was really cool. King Shark looked really weird. And Harley was really weird because Harley had her, her hair is pretty weird. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. yeah. But you like King Shark, don't you, Solomon? I do. I like Harley better. And that one's gonna be for PS5. So we can play it on the PS4 too. And you know what's crazy? What? Because when that game comes out, mm-hmm. you'll be seven. They did say it was in the Arkham universe, so that was kind of interesting. We do get our first now new continuity, I guess, the new way of Deadshot being African American. Um, so that was kind of cool. Um, you know, that's his new, I guess, where they're going to keep him. That's fine. Whatever. Um, could be a multiverse thing. Could be a multiverse thing. We see Big Belly Burger and we see Harley. We see King Shark. My man, King Shark is back. And it was, it was, it was a fun trailer. The graphics were amazing. Um, I look forward to this one. This will be an, again another game I will get uh, because Solomon will want to play as King Shark, and this is definitely more of a tease than you know what we got with Gotham Knights. But, yeah, they showed a gameplay walkthrough for Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights is definitely coming out sooner. Better be like January of 2021. But all right, so here's the last big one, Brian. Tell tell the listeners at home. Your big story, so that you about how you traveled to the future. Take it away, Brian. So I called Doc Brown, and uh, he said, uh, "The Batman trailer, Brian. Something's got to be. Someone's got to see the Batman trailer." And uh, and uh, I, I was just sitting on the. I was. I watched the. Uh, gosh, what was before the um, CNN heroes? Yeah, but what was right before CNN Heroes? It was Titans. No, no. No, no, I missed Titans. Um, what was it? Maybe, I don't know, was it Wonder Woman? I, I don't know. No, it was like they were talking The Flash or something. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, but, it was, the, it was um, the Flash TV, which I didn't get to take any notes for because I got up and I didn't realize that panel was coming on and I didn't have any notes for the Flash TV panel because on my schedule it was for next day. On the twelfth, so yeah, that's what it was. Gotcha, gotcha. So, so I uh, I lost kind of con- I lost connection with my iPad a little bit because uh, I didn't put my iPad on uh, don't walk. So I walk over to my iPad and like I just uh, unlock it and then you know I uh, connect it back to the TV and 
I'm, I'm sitting there talking to Jen uh, on the couch here, and I look up and I see Matt Reeves on my screen, and this red and black background. And I'm like, what? Huh? Why is Matt Reeves on the TV right now? It's two, it's, it's it's two hours early, and I just unmute it and somehow, some way, I don't know why, but I skipped two hours in the future, and I'm watching the Batman uh, reveal before you guys, and you guys are watching Titan stuff, and I recorded it, it's totally legit, and what happened, what I think happened was uh, when I, on the DC fandom site, I clicked English, and then because I'm deaf, I hit English with captions, and for some reason, it it shot me ahead two hours and everybody, and it gave me captions with everything, um, which was working awesome because you guys are you guys are like, what's going on? Why are you seeing this? We're seeing this, and uh, is there a trailer? Is it, they gonna show a trailer? And and I just. I, uh, my wife's like, you got to record this trailer right now. They're going to show a trailer. You got to post on Twitter, you know? Um, and it's, I, I, I was just, I was in shock. I, I couldn't move. I, that trailer was awesome. It, it really hit me by surprise. I didn't think we were going to get something like that. I was a little worried about the bat suit, but, uh, that trailer delivered, Completely. And now, now I'm going to go cry because it was beautiful. So m- listening to Matt Reeves talk, like I need to go back to like, really dissect everything he said. You can tell he's excited. I loved what he was saying about where he was pulling things. You know, there's definitely a feel about like a crime drama. It deals with a very corrupt system. The idea that, you know, Bruce might learn things about just how corruption worked in the city, that maybe his family was part of things. And the idea that um, it is a detective story, which really, you know, I got thinking about, like, Batman's never really investigated, like, a murder, like a a murder mystery in any film. Um, He's always kind of knew who his opponent was, in a way. But this feels very much like a Sherlock Holmes Moriarty type thing. Um so I don't know if you boys want to pop up the trailer like we did for Justice League and kind of watch and talk. Well, well, because I watched I watched the whole thing twice. Um, here's like here's, right now? here's what I what I, I've watched well, it six I watched times. The, like, I watched the trailer a million times, but I watched I watched Matt Reeves talk. Ah, um, okay, okay, you know, awesome. you know, twice. And, and basically, what he said, um, um, just to dissect it. Uh, he said that this is not a Batman origin story. I love uh, it. This is Batman. This is Batman in year two. Uh, the Gotham PD show, which will be on HBO, is essentially Batman year one. Um, it's going to it's Gotham PD is going to be the corruption of Gotham. The the good cops, you know, what are they going to do about this? And the the start of Batman. That's kind of going to be the year one, uh, but it's going to focus more on the cops and how they're going to deal with a Batman existing. Um, year two is, is going to focus on Batman's been there a while, but the public still doesn't trust him. They still don't know what really he is. Um, he's gaining some trust with the police and Commissioner Gordon and stuff, um, but he's mostly just dealt with... Sh- kind of street crime and stuff and this is his first his first detective work his first first really getting into who he's going to be um uh the penguin's not the penguin he's not a kingpin at this time he's not a big crime boss he hates the name penguin uh we don't we don't uh well you'll see in the trailer um we, we don't really see him yet um, Catwoman is not Catwoman yet. She's just a bank. She's just a, a cat cat burglar. Um, and I like the, how her 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 mask had that almost ears that, looking thing though. That, that was a nice touch. That was a nice touch. Um, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, the the Riddler, 
as as we'll see in this trailer in just a second again. Um, I I kind of feel that yeah, the Riddler is going to be the main villain, but I kind of feel like they're going to pull a twist on us. Mm. I I kind of feel like there's going to be some other villain in this. Um, only because they really revealed a lot of like signs that it's the Riddler, but. As you, you know, as a, well, let's let's throw the trailer on. Let's do it. All right, you guys ready? Yep, I'm ready. Here we go. All right, we're all at zero. Got the red Warner Brothers logo coming. Yep. All right, I'm at one second. Ready and go. First of all, just from this opening shot of like the room and the duct tape guy, I love the art design. I'm already sold. Just from the look of that room. The lighting, the way the city feels, the the gothicness, the and this guy's face is completely wrapped in duct tape. Like, is he suffocated by duct tape? I'm watching this. It looks like as Commissioner Gordon's walking down the hall, maybe Batman's behind him. Just the way the cops are looking. Jeffrey Wright looks great. I like the tease of Batman's boots. Like his costume's very kind of like makeshift he's working on it adding to it um you know and to the batman and then he walks over his costume looks cool um it looks you know better in the lighting i like that they kind of acknowledge the black around his eyes like that he actually mm -hmm. puts um the scene of him like looks like a funeral or something yeah I love because it looks very gothic and um, almost Batman. That's, Peng Batman. That's Colin Farrell. That was Penguin. Him fighting. Like it the does not look like him whatsoever. Him, him fighting, fighting the police. Yes. Him fighting uh, Catwoman, like you said, about her ski mask. Yeah. Um, he just whoops this dude's ass. <laughs> I love it. It's so brutal. And they all just, they all are just is. watching. And he's like, I'm, the voice sounds pretty good. Like the I am vengeance. Um, mm -hmm. The car looks this, good. You know, like the, the, the images and stuff that we've seen, like it didn't get me excited for the movie, but definitely this does. Yeah, I I mean, the trailer looks beautiful. Like, you know, I'm thinking, and this is just me right now, okay? I'm thinking I'm going to like everything about this movie, but not him as much. Like, his costume looks pretty good. It's not 100%, but it's functional in this world. And it is, like, his year two, like, you know, him. So, but working. we only get to see, we don't get to see him really doing anything. Like, he doesn't say anything. He's just Bruce, and he's just looking at stuff. Right. We, we don't get anything from him in this trailer. And let's, you like, know, he's seriously broody, and um, uh, he's seriously broody, and all we hear him say is, is I'm vengeance. Um, that's it. That's the only line he utters the entire, um, the entire trailer. And you know what? Like, the greatest thing about this trailer is this trailer is beautifully edited and put together. When you think about that, Matt Reeves only said they've only shot 25% of the film. A fourth of the movie is done, and we get this kind of a trailer. Right. Hit, there's so, scenes uh, where two, his two. eyes look white, too. I don't know if you guys noticed. Yes, yes. Uh, two two things. Um, so in the opening in the opening scene, uh, where where they open that card and it says, you know, what does a liar do when he's dead? He and still like, lies. Yes, he lies <laughs> still. Uh, so someone filled out uh, solved that riddle earlier. Um, but also, Matt Reeves said that Robert Pattinson. Uh, had a lot of say in the suit in this movie. Like, Robin uh, Pattinson helped design it a little bit uh, to make it more mobile, and he wanted to look like this is something that the Batman uh, built himself for mobility, for tactical purposes. Um, 
so that's what Matt Reeves is really trying to get across in this, that, you know, that Bruce straight up built this suit himself. Um, and this is probably going to be the most mobile bat suit we've ever seen in terms of mobility and action and all that stuff. It's, it's and Pat's, Pat's going to have to say in that, yeah. It's one. Uh, that's going to be pretty hard to top um, Richard Citrone's <laughs> mobility in, in BDS, though. You know, my thing is, like, looking at, like, I the, agree, suit, I agree. the suit and everything is, you know, it's the way the we get the feeling of this is, it's a step removed more than what we got for like with Batman Begins, where he's you know he doesn't have like Lucius Fox type thing. He's doing it more on his own, so his right. suit is more pieced together, put together, and it's a work in progress. Um, and I like you know what one thing I thought was funny was everybody goes to Bale for advice, and he get, Bale gave Pattinson the same advice he gave Affleck: make sure you can take a piss. When you got that suit on, <laughs> you know, like, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and so I liked, I mean, I like just kind of like the way they did, um, the amazing Spider-Man where his suit was very homemade in the, in the, the amazing Spider-Man. And then in the second amazing Spider-Man two was like more refined, like, you know, the, his is year two. And I bet like his year one suit was a little bit more, uh, you know, not as, refined a little less refined so he's right. still yeah matt reeves was talking about how it's like this movie's like the origin story for the joker and like or not, not the joker the riddler i'm sorry um the riddler and like the origin story for uh catwoman and the penguin like all of them and batman's been doing this for like 18 months so i like that i like that we're gonna get like this <laughs> so, movie I think What's, I'm gonna love right as Gordon. I think I'm gonna love yeah um, the the city because I've always never really found a Gotham that I liked. What's interesting is is we get this movie after he's been doing this for 18 months, but in Bale's movie, after about 18 months, he was done doing it. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So. So James, James, you're telling me that this that this picture of this big guy standing in the rain, and then the, later on in the trailer when Batman is chasing this guy in the car, we, the, yeah, he has a hook nose. Yeah, telling, that's Colin Farrell. Holy crap! Which is kind that of is good. which is kind of sad because like I love Colin Farrell. Like, um, I like I I wish he would. Do I think he would have been a great John Constantine? Um, <laughs> well, he still could because you can't tell it's him. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> he's no, he's no Carl Urban. I mean, <laughs> but um, but yeah, like wow. Batman, like his suit, everything like this Gotham. I think I'm gonna love because it doesn't feel like it's just some American city they're shooting and calling <laughs> Gotham. It feels like something yeah. gothic. It really does. So that pretty like much even, even more gothic than you know than we got in either Tim Burton film. Well, I mean those those films feel great, but like especially Returns. I mean they both they feel very small. They were all shot on sound stages. They feel very small, very tight, um, and very empty. <laughs> So, but all right, fellas, I mean, that's, that's a, well, just cause we know better now, we pulled in a lot of information. At the time. <laughs> uh, so anything else, um, uh, I want to throw out one there? last thing, just one last thing. Uh, I'm very interested in this gang with Joker makeup. I don't even really think it's Joker makeup. I just feel like they're just wearing makeup. Like uh, a lot of games. No, it's, do. it's intentional. It's intentional. But I mean, even then, like, it's, they just. It's, it's, it's clown makeup. It's just white makeup with black. I mean, it's subtle, but I wouldn't subscribe to it being Joker y makeup. Um, it didn't strike me as Joker. I mean, the white kind of did uh, automatically. Like, 
like, oh, white faces, but I just kind of saw it, and, and then I thought one of the guys, his, he oh, had like a... It looks more like the Royal Flush cross thing. in his head or something. One dude, hold on, I'm backing it up right here. One dude looks like he has a spade on his face or a cross, so it looks like it could be like a, a Royal Flush gang or something, or just a, oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Just a gang, because like, we know Gotham's had gangs and criminals a little bit of taste for the theatric, so... I mean, you're you're both valid. I mean, there is enough there to be like it's Joker ish, but I I don't. I, I just I, I just don't want to see Joker in movies for a few more years. I, I don't. The next time I want to see Joker in a movie right now is with the air cut. Um, yeah, yeah, and, really, yeah. And then after that, like if they if if Reeves really wants to do a trilogy, bring the Joker in into your third film. Make that the third film of your trilogy. Um, yeah, like the like the epic, um, you know, the epic reveal of the Joker, and like just this crazy thing where the entirety nobody in Gotham is safe. Like there you go. some kind of wild, yeah, some kind of wild hardcore story. So let's see. This movie comes out in 2021. That means let's let's say we got. 2023 is the second one. 2025 to 2026 will be the third film. Yeah, that would be enough time to uh, give us a new Joker on film. You know, roughly six years, five to six years from now. I, I could deal with that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm excited for it. Like I said, I'm, I'm excited for the expansion of like good villains. I'm excited for the world building. Uh, the world of Gotham, like really feeling gothic. Um, and I look forward to more of this film because I like Matt Reeves as a filmmaker. And uh, I just, I'm just glad I'm not getting a Batman origin or like really starting from scratch. I like that he's already kind of doing it, but he's not perfect. Um, we just watched Batman Blood. No, we watched the trailer for The Batman. The Batman. What do you think? I think it was really cool. I like when the Batmobile shows up and Batman just hops in and drives it. And the Batmobile my, looks my, my favorite, my favorite, when he goes, Yeah? Yeah, yeah? what else? Yeah. Um, I think I, I will say that's it. Mm-hmm. Man, I like when the guy's like, who are you? And he's just like, pff, pff, pff. I'm vengeance. Yeah. That, that was the great fighter. We didn't see all the superheroes. We didn't see one Batman. What do you think of the Batman? Okay. Does it look good? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, but we didn't see the other Justice League. Yeah, we did. We just passed the Justice League. But, yeah. So, man, the next, the next couple of years, I mean... We got Wonder Woman. We got Zack Snyder's Justice League. We got the Batman, the Suicide Squad, um, Black Adam, and the Flash. All of those movies coming in just the next few years. And we know Aquaman 2 is on the horizon there, too, at the end of 2022. Like, all of those movies in the next three years. I almost think that DC should do a fandom every year like this. Maybe not as big if they do do Comic Con and stuff, but something like this would be fun every year. Well, this was fantastic, you know, not having the things that we normally have. So them putting all their bas- their eggs in this basket, I mean, it was fantastic just to have it streaming on my phone all day long, no matter what I'm doing. Um, so certain panels I sat and I paid attention to others. I kind of just had going on in the background. Yeah. And yeah, this, I mean, it's fantastic. It's, it's amazing to be a, a DC fan at the moment. Yeah. I mean, and screw all the haters. I don't care what anybody says. I love DC. I mean, I even, <laughs> Oh, we I forgot. We didn't even, I even like the Chris Daughtry where he was, he did his waiting for Superman acoustic song. Um, because, you know, he, the, the Batman artwork that was behind him when he was playing is stuff he actually drew. Um, 
I uh, years ago, uh, there was a great episode of Fat Man on Batman that he was on talking about wanting to be an artist, a comic book artist. Um, so that was just kind of neat because he is a genuine um, comic book lover. And of course, I told Shane, I was like, "Oh, look at him! Uh, he just wants to show off all of his uh, awesome collectibles and stuff in his." room as they played their other song yeah it was awesome that was really good too um so that is so great they have the joker playing card <laughs> but i mean it was just a fun thing like i said i admit there was some stuff i missed and a lot of it was just because overwhelming and trying to well from what i heard they're gonna have like the flash and stuff on the 12th again, like the um, TV show, The Flash and stuff. They're going to have different things like that. Yeah, like, you know, the second part supposed to be more of the TV and comics, which is weird that they, um, you know, because they. Uh, they did say that they were going to have a fandom, like a comics fandom announcement. And like the John's panel was at the end of the day too, for uh, for three Batman or uh, three Jokers. Yeah. Um. And like there wasn't a big comics announcement, and and they and they ended. They they had the they had it set for like eight hours, so like it could repeat like three times in twenty four hours. Yeah. Um, As opposed to, like, 12 hours and just repeat it once. So I like that they split it. Like, I'm happy that they split it. And the other thing is, like, I thought we were supposed to get, like, an announcement of, like, a surprise DC movie. And we didn't. So I guess that's going to fall on the next one. Um, Because remember that, like, in the original, like, panels and, and like, rundown was going to be, like, a mystery Yeah, there DC was a couple. Movie. Right. Yeah, there was a couple of mystery panels. Um, one of them was like a mystery comics announcement or something, and the other one was like, yeah, mystery DC movie or something. And it's weird because they canceled the premiere of Superman, Man of Tomorrow, and then it dropped early on iTunes. So, so. but anyways, there's lots more to cover, to talk about, to discuss. But James, my friend, it has been great. Brian already had to leave us because he's tired. He's an old man. Uh, <laughs> Well, he's got to work in the morning. He does too. I get to I actually sleep in in the morning. But uh, I don't sleep. I, I, I don't suggest you you have you don't get. I I don't suggest you get the chance to sleep in the way I have the chance to sleep in. No, no. Um, <clears throat> my daughter will be up here in about seven hours from for daddy. So um, it'll be good. But all right, man. You take care. <laughs> uh, all right, man. Have a good night. You too. Look up in the sky. Look up in the sky. Look in the sky.